Hello guys, it is Danny here again and today it's another episode of League Racing in AOR. We are in Spain and it's the fifth race on the season. Uh, as you can see I just loaded in my setup and it's a bit strange one because I have a strange suspension and I have a strange wing setting as well with the 6-9 what I chose but I am with a 10 by less so I am a bit oversteer like that as well. Uh, after I showed you my setup, I would like to show you my personal best quality lap, uh, which was my last lap, as you can see from the timer that I had the chance for. So I really tried to to beat my my old personal one because I had a 1.18.4, and it's a totally bad lap in Spain. So I just wanted to stay clean, and and I was a bit cautious, as you can see. For an example, here at the exit, I could have press just more throttle but but I mean I just didn't want to lose the back end like I, I did in my previous lap so I it was a clean lap all in all as I see from the first sector I was in purple and uh, here I hit every apex nicely here again I lift a little bit too much as you can see I totally didn't use the whole track but here I made a mistake I I, I just simply broke too late I missed the apex after I put my wheels on the on the curve at the exit and I lost about the tens just here uh, but all in all uh, except of this mistake it was a very nice lap in this last two corner I managed to cut as much as I can and I had a perfect exit for this uh, straight so as you can see from the delta how much I gained from here uh, as you can see from this lap, I managed to get a P3, which is not a bad position, and this race is long, and in Spain you can overtake. Uh, now I show you my pit strategy, because as you can see, uh, from the sixth period of the race, there will be two period raining at the end. I think everybody else on the track had a totally dry setup, but uh, my setup is... Uh, very very extreme on the ballast and extreme on the front wing so I am afraid of the rain a bit as you can see I had a pretty good race start actually I had a better race start than Marek uh, my teammate but I couldn't get into his slipstream so I pulled to the outside and tried to break as late as I can to maybe undercut him uh, in the next long right hander but as you can see from the from the indicator I had a Williams Raven on my right side so I always had to leave the space and that's why I just couldn't attack Marek and instead of this I had to defend against Raven but I wasn't in a bad situation because when Raven attacked me I had the inside line so so it was not a problem at all. This moment I was a bit frustrated because I really wanted to overtake Marek because I knew that I maybe have a better pace than him, but uh, of course, as I told, it's a long race and see what Jeb says. Alright, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Okay, Jeff, thank you very much. I try to focus as hard as I can. As you can see, you should have told it to Marek instead of me because he just made a mistake and I managed to get into his DRS zone distance. As you can see, I put into uh, rich mix my car it wasn't a perfect mm, sentence in grammar in English I am in his slipstream and I attack him I had a perfect straight line speed I went to the inside I broke early because I just simply don't want to crash my teammate but um, after unfortunately I missed the apex in the second corner so I didn't manage to to just undercut him at the exit uh, so I stayed behind Marek uh, but I tried to stay as close as I can because I knew that I have the pace over him and I just tried to put uh, pressure on him which is maybe not very nice from teammates but uh, I, I really wanted to overtake him I really wanted to overtake him and as you can see I just try to uh, stay uh, as close as I can but in the slipstream it's very hard to follow the car in front because uh, he leaves uh, a very big turbulent air but again we are in the last sector 
he misses the apex again, I manage to stay very neat and tight and uh, I am close again and I prepare for another attack but here I put my wheels on the curb too much and I miss the apex here so I had a weird situation because I was thinking about attacking and I needed to defend which is which is not the best thing to do. Uh, Raven attacks me here, but I managed to break very late uh, in this breaking zone, and and I had the advantage over him uh, in the meaning of position. Uh, as you can see, cutting here, or I mean, now uh, to the sixth lap, I have the same distance to Marek again, and and I just try to stay close, 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 but. In the slipstream, in the turbulent air, I just really can't go any faster. And here, it's a stat story because it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again That's why don't put so much pressure on your teammate because we really wanted a double podium but here it will be nearly impossible. I think Marek is hoping uh, in the rain and uh, as you can see I just came into the pit I put a medium set of tires because I think I can go until it rains uh, without stopping more uh, as you can see I came behind AOR Fishy and Icoms uh, and I managed to over I mean not overtake but to attack Fishy and I had a fresher tire than, than him I had the position here I started the corner wider I managed to hit the apex nicely and, and I undercut him uh, and the exit it was a fair and an easy move from me it was a must because uh, before I pit Icoms was the race leader so it was uh, really nice uh, that I could I could I could go and attack him maybe as well uh, as you can see, cutting into the lap 13, I was in his slipstream, but he defends the inside line, so I have to go to the outside. I try to maybe do another undercut at the exit, but he is very, very smart and uh, goes wide and, and just and prepares for the exit as well, so I just stand no chance against him. Here, as you can see, we attack another guy. Uh, we attack uh, Aerox in the Mercedes and uh, he was on all tires as well so we should have an easy job attacking him uh, if I show you our battle. By the way I really want to say sorry uh, to this video and to this English uh, because uh, in this channel I usually have a nicely edited video and I, I usually have a nicely edited commentary as well because as you can hear I'm, I'm not perfect in English and uh, I really want to, to show you my best but I had nearly no time in this week so I just have to improvise uh, my commentary and I couldn't write any text uh, but meanwhile I'm speaking as you can see I was very aggressive in the braking with a fresher tire So I managed to overtake Orex which was a key moment for me because I really didn't want to let Y comes out of my DRS zone because I think he was faster uh, But as you could see I just couldn't 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 go as fast as he could and and the rain started to, to fall we are in lap uh, 24 and and I had a very very big gap between me and Vicoms and uh, even uh, I had pressure from behind because Timp and Draven behind Timp started to attack me because as it started to rain my race just started to fall out of control and uh, instead of me speaking I would like to cut in our fantastic commentators again Gordon's in so yeah exactly as you're saying is the one's at the back and Max has gone on to Inters we have our first runner on to the intermediate tires oh as Danny gets a bit out of shape Tim's all over the back of him now having a look into nine can't do it there he hasn't got the traction to do it 
but that Force India, the uh, Force India, that Toro Rosso is right with the has Danny having to defend on the inside of turn 10. That's forcing tip around the outside. You're going to run them out road. No. Oh, they came together. They managed to avoid a major incident. You can see Sigros right with them as well. Surely now they are going to come in. But the top runners are not. To uh, just as I say that, actually, Topar is now in. Now is going to be the time they're going to be coming in. And he's gone to have a five second stop go. That's catastrophic. He's got to serve in now. That, wow. is, that is going to ruin his race. Wycombs has not come in. Wycombs, well, you madman. Danny is in. Topa. As, as you could see, I had totally no pace over a team behind me. So I decided to go to the pit. After I came out, I came just in front of Fizzy, who was still on a dry set of hard tires, and that because he was a good indicator for me that I chose the right call or not, because I could closely compare our pace. First, I thought that inters were working but uh, as you can see i have just no grip in the front or even at the back end of the car and uh, the dry tires were still working better so it seemed that i made a mistake by going into the pit so early as you can see now i took it very easy against fizzy because i knew that he had got the, the tire advantage and the grip advantage against me but cutting into the third sector, as you can see, Fizzy started to suffer as well from no grip, so I didn't make a big mistake at all, but I picked one lap earlier than I should have. And now, I would like to speak about a thing that I haven't spoken about since I created my channel, why a lot of you guys asked. I really waited for a moment to speak about my wheel and my pedals, because you won't believe what setup I am using. And this is the right video at the right bar, because I now start suffering and uh, it was not just because my low skill or because of my bad setup for the rain it was very highly because of my disadvantage over the others using this wheel that I just show you a picture of because you believe it or not my wheel is a six years old 180 degrees non for speedback wheel that only fits to a clean surface of a glass table with small Wacom circles at a bottom. And yes, with this wheel I managed to set many many world records, I managed to win many many league races and I managed to get into the official F1 eSports semi-final that took place in London last month. When the conditions are dry, it's okay to use because I really got used to it in the past 6 years. But when it starts to rain, I have no chance against guys using for speedback. And even my pedals have not been properly working in the past few months. To indicate you this, I have just shown you the pressure indicator down in the right button of the game. It describes everything, every problem. I can't brake properly, I can't stop, I need to brake about uh, 20 meters earlier because if I brake later I just can't stop. And in dry it's better because you know when you just push the brake flat out in the first part of your braking it's the same as the others but when you just lift off a bit of your brake it just totally senses sometimes 80% sometimes 20 and it is not constant at all. But I just would like to stop staying it and to listen our fantastic commentators again who are linked in the description and in the comment section as well. He's still actually in third so pretty damn good showing for your maiden race in the top split to then stick it on the podium. Fair play to you. Yeah, so non runner has a stop go. Uh, Ooh, right. That's Danny getting out of shape. And so, what a move by Raven! Diving on the inside at 13. Oh, there is very little room for error there. And Hass trying to do a switch back. Not really much of a chance to do it there. Danny getting very out of shape and Raven capitalizing on it. And Danny's got himself another three second penalty. I mean, that all that does is really back him off from. Yeah, he, he won't lose a position to failure at that point. I just backed him off from Raven. Raven now... Uh... And yes, here it is. I just simply couldn't find anybody around me. This was one of my most frustrating off-base racing I have ever had. As you can see, I had a pretty solid gap between the car behind me. And I only had one 3 seconds penalty. So I wasn't afraid of losing more positions. But still... P6 was definitely not the pace where I wanted to fight. Uh, but to be fair, we mustn't go away without mentioning who won this race because it was Topa who started from the last position from P6. 
and yes i say it again from p19 he started from the hardest compound of tires and that's why he didn't have to stop before the rain started to fall while all the other guys stopped once before the rain uh, he overtook nicely and he had a nice and constant pace i show you the race director as well after the result screen it's nearly unbelievable for me that that he managed to set the fastest lap of the race in the lap 18 but I must congratulate to him. All in all, this was the video and I really know that the first part was not so enjoyable in the way of commentary, but I am in school so I have to study hard and I still have tasks to do in the TV show that I participated in the last four weeks and I have a Hungarian channel as well where I have to edit those videos. Uh, but plus, I always try to practice as much for the league races as I can to be prepared and always have the chance to fight for the victory. Last Sunday, for an example, I had my league race in Monaco which was quite interesting so I try to edit it as fast as I can it won't be a boring race as I expected uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not done it yet please subscribe and like and share me so thank you very much for watching I hope you have a nice day and see you in the next one <laughs>